we have a huge problem that is actually really, really tiny. As you know, in this box I keep my roach colonies. And currently there are only lateralis colony inside. And these are the guys that I'm actually talking about. You see, there is quite a lot of them inside this box. And today we are going to record a feeding video, but we aren't going to use lateralis roaches. Instead, we are going to use dubias. There is one, I think, good reason. If you remember on Lester Plaza, I bought a bunch of roaches, a bunch of lateralis roaches, and I immediately added all of them to this roach colony and since then i noticed that they are dying more often you see this is the this is the dead one first i thought that the reason for that is i have more roaches and naturally there will be more of them dying because there is more older roaches and that is just normal but what i noticed i noticed that not only adults are dying also semi-adults juveniles also the small ones i noticed that they are also dying. Together with that, the other problem arose and those are those pesky little flies that are called gnats and they actually lay eggs in dead roaches and other dead animals. And then you get a lot of larvas and all of a sudden your whole roach bin is infected with ton and ton of fruit flies. I mean not fruit flies, gnats. Because they are kind of similar to fruit flies. And after fighting with those guys, you see I have this mixture where, where they are drowning inside. You see there is ton of them. But I managed to kill majority of their population. Basically there is no more gnats around, which is very nice. But then the other thing happened. Actually I forgot to mention one thing. Since I noticed that there is a lot of gnats, I daily started to remove all the dead lateralis roaches. So I went through the entire colony and remove all the dead ones. So that way thinking if I remove the food they will not be able to reproduce. But regardless they were still reproducing. I don't know how they managed to do that but that is why I started with this mixture and that got the situation under the control. But then I found out another problem. When I would start removing roaches I noticed that some of the roaches are uh, visually dying. You can see that their movement is slow and kind of clumsy and that they are surely not all right. And also on the dead ones I noticed that there is a lot of dots, white dots on them. And when I look those dots more closely, those were the mites. And having mites on dead roaches is not a big issue. Of course mites are searching for food and when they find something dead they will start to eat it. There is nothing terrible with that. You just remove the, the dead roaches and everything should be all right. But the problem was I took those dying roaches that are still alive but dying and when I look at them more closely I noticed that there are actual mites on them while they are dying. And then I took the healthy ones and I noticed that they also a lot of them have mites on top of them. So now I'm not sure if roaches are dying because of the mites or there is a lot of mites because a lot of roaches are dying. And I'm also now afraid to use these roaches because if they have mites on them, once tarantula grabs them, those mites can go and attach on a spider, on a tarantula. And that is definitely something that I don't want to and I'm not sure if that will happen. So I don't know what to do. If I should just kill this entire colony, put it in freezer and dump them in the dumpster. Or if I can do something to help the colony because there is a lot of roaches inside. And I really rely on this colony to feed majority of my tarantulas because you know, red runners, the lateralis roaches, they are, babies are much smaller than dubia roaches and therefore some smaller tarantulas need the lateralis roaches. You cannot feed them with dubias and also dubias aren't kind of annoying to feed because they play dead and dig inside of the substrate. So that is also unfortunate. So now I have no idea what to do and therefore I'm asking for you that, that know some real information in regards to this problem. I will, I will take the roaches on the table and use macro lens to show you the mites. Hopefully I will be able to record it and hopefully someone is knowledgeable enough to give me some concrete ideas what to do. But please if you don't really know how to actually solve this situation don't write your suggestions because I really need information from someone that really knows the stuff he's talking about and not just have some random ideas of what to do because then I won't be able to know if someone actually got good information or if someone just 
things that maybe you should do this. I don't really know. You know, you understand what I want to say. So yeah, I'm gonna grab a few roaches and we are moving into the onto the table. This is really not how I would prefer to start a feeding video, but I'm kinda in a panic mode because I have no idea what to do in this situation. And if this situation is dangerous for the tarantulas, I really don't know. Now you see, these are the dead ones. This one is the one that is, let me just poke it. You see how it is not reacting normally. It is still alive, but it is definitely not all right. While this one is completely normal, you see, he moves normally and everything. But you will see that there are also mites on him. Now this is the dead one. You can see the mites on his mouth and also on his head. And apologize for my shaky hands, but I cannot really be super steady. You see there is mite on his leg. Also here, all around his abdomen, you see here, here. And this is just a freshly dyed lateralis roach. I was cleaning the colony like five hours ago, so yeah. Now let me show you the dying one. So this one is still alive, but let me just focus it. You see how his mouths are filled with mites. You see that? Almost like they are blocking off his mouths. I don't know. But this is really bad. And this is still alive, lateralis roach. Now let me show you the one that appears normal. This is the one. You see on his head also mites. You can see mites everywhere so that is what concerns me because i take this apparently healthy lateralis roach i give it to tarantula tarantula eats it and all those mites just move from roach onto tarantula i'm not 100 percent sure if that is how that works but it definitely worries me a lot and that is the reason why i immediately when i spotted that i started uh, feeding all of the tarantulas and other animals with dubia roaches and if needed, if I need to destroy that colony, I will get new ones. But it seems that definitely when I'm getting new roaches, I definitely need to check them for mites because I haven't had any mite issues whatsoever. I never had any problems with my colonies and you know that I'm keeping tarantulas and also the colonies, those roach colonies for more than five years now and no problems whatsoever. But now problem all of a sudden. So as I said, if you have some real information and you know what you are talking about let me know let me know in the comments i will for sure check them out and also now i have separate tweezers for those roaches and for the rest because i don't want to cross contaminate dubias or any other colonies it is kind of hard to get small dubias even with huge colony getting the amount like this it is kind of a hassle but now to talk about the actual feeding video in today's video we are going to feed you see small tarantulas the ones that i keep in these cups and also these cups we of course won't be feeding all of them but i will take few like maybe 10 of the ones that i want to feed and i also want to show you to update you on some of these species and first one will be this psalpeo sirminia the one that got a fang problem if you remember one of her fangs is kind of sticking the wrong way so currently her sibling molted this is the other one you see here is the mold and here is the fresh salopeo Minia sling so hopefully she will also molt soon but her abdomen it is it is not really big because i couldn't give her big roaches now we are going to test it out with some bigger dubia and hopefully we will fatten up that abdomen so she can molt soon i think this one will be quite the challenge for her but she's still a fighter you will see there she grabbed it you see even though she's struggling with that one fang she is still interested in food oh no she didn't manage to grab it or what no come on that's your food you need to eat to be strong and to regenerate that fang please you need to eat i really thought that she grabbed it at first but ugh, it looks like she's not giving up but the dubia is not moving and also another issue with dubias they are a bit harder and Maybe that is also a problem. She cannot pierce her exoskeleton with those fangs. But she is surely trying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see, she is trying, but no luck for her for now. Is she webbing the roach already? She is definitely webbing it up. And she didn't even bite it. Or maybe she, she did, but I don't know. It is like we are having a happy dance without the takedown it's just a happy dance i think what i will do i will grab once again the roach and i will like break it a bit that will maybe help 
Got it. Now this won't be pretty, but I think that it is necessary. Because we need to give her all the help. That's a roach. Grab it. Now she doesn't want to grab it anymore. And look at this. I cut the roach on half and it is still moving and walking away. But I'm going to leave it inside and hopefully she will stalk it and get it. Oh, she's already doing that. There. Excellent. She got it at the soft spot just as I planned. Okay, now I'm satisfied with this. We can move on to our next tarantula. This is Avicularia Metallica or should I say Avicularia Avicularia Morph 6. Now a sling, she definitely looks different than Avicularia Geraldi. Even though as I already explained, they should be the same species Avicularia Avicularia. Just a different morph. I have two of them. We are going to try and feed this first one little fuzzy. You see how fuzzy she is. Even though she is tiny sling. Okay, not super tiny, but still really, really small, you see. <laughs> and I don't think that I ever offered her a dubia roach. <laughs> but she grabbed it regardless. And oh no, she retreated behind the cork bark. But we have the other one, so maybe that one will stay out on the open. Look at this pretty fuzzer. Avicularias are such a pretty tarantulas. Super fuzzy and cute. Do you want one dubia? Grab, grab. Oh, <laughs> now please stay outside, don't hide immediately. <laughs> Look how fuzzy that abdomen is. <laughs> Those hairs are almost as large as the abdomen. <laughs> so funny to see. And the carapace is also kinda shiny, you see. But all right, next tarantula. Now this is one really, really cool one, but I'm not sure if we will manage to lure her outside. This is the F. Um, Ephembopus rufescens, but unfortunately she likes to hide, although her abdomen is really pretty. I need to hold the roach outside, so hopefully then she will try and grab it outside. But with dubias this is kind of tricky to do. No reaction from tarantula and... Oh, ooh, there's the shiny abdomen. I let the roach go, but it seems like she grabbed it anyway. Maybe she will now move outside. I will wait for just a few minutes. But even from here you can spot that the abdomen is kinda greenish, not entirely green. Of course, unfortunately, there are no green tarantulas, but this is almost green. I'm gonna try and poke her a bit. Oh, yes. There we go, she's outside and now you can see how green the abdomen is. You see? Greenish for sure and also Front legs are different color than back legs, which is also a beautiful combination. Can't wait for this species to get a bit bigger, because she will definitely be prettier. Now this fuzzy booty belongs to another Psalpeus, and that is Psalpeus Victory. But of course that she is kinda hiding. Now we are hoping, you know, for what to get her outside. Maybe if I just drop the roach. And if this roach starts to move, then maybe we will see her. Come on, roach, move. Almost like he's on a beach, lying on the sand and drinking cocktail. Yeah, it's almost the same. Ooh, movement, movement. Come on, you little sling, grab the roach. So the roach can become your cocktail. <laughs> because you know how the spiders eat, they bite the prey. The venom then liquefies everything inside of the prey and then she basically drinks the prey, like, just like a cocktail. And I think that we are going to see some real nice takedown. Unless she lets the roach go and that would be really disappointing, you know? Ooh, have you seen that? Just when I, I blinked and then everything was over. <laughs> but this camera hopefully didn't blink. <laughs> because I think that was a really, really nice takedown. Now, these aren't that interesting to show, but I have this one that is really nice. And that is Terafocida species Panama. From this angle, she doesn't look anything special, but you will see when she turns around. She definitely is something special. Just gonna put this roach here. Oh! <laughs> that was already a grab, and you see now why this tarantula is something special. Abdomen got some sort of stripes, there is also some orangey red coloration but legs got color of their own and also the carapace so it is really this tarantula is definitely something to look at too bad that she is still 
so so tiny but she will grow eventually she will be one big and strong tarantula mm -hmm, mm -hmm. now this small sling is definitely not a looker at the moment but this is a watlo species red or yeah i will write the new name i don't really remember it eventually she will be super pretty but is she super hungry that's the question poke, poke, poke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Roach, I dare you to move now. Yeah, she is eager to grab it now. Her mind is set. We just need a tiny bit of movement. That's all. There we go. It seems like the poke was necessary for sure. But very nice. We got the takedown. We got what we need, what we came for here. And even though this one, as I said, is not currently a looker, she just looked like one generic sling. Once she grows a bit, she will become beautiful black tarantula. Yes, yes, yes. Goodbye. And I think that we are reaching, kind of reaching the end. I still have this one to show, although I don't know if I will manage to do that. In here there is Sahidroanareus raya, but she likes to dig. We'll see now. If drop will reveal something. Ooh. Oh yeah, maybe for just a second you might notice that she actually got some shiny coloration on her. But from this angle she looks brown as dirt, but trust me, she is not. Once she gets bigger as all of these, you will be able to see her better and prettier. That was everything for this video. If you can help me with the roach problem, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye! -bye.